Okay, now I suppose it's early days for you and your, your new role with the FAI. How's it been so far? I am hectic, but uh, thoroughly uh, invigorating because there's so much to be done and I'm learning so much, as is Gary Owens, who, who's um, also in there working very hard. And, uh, you know, underneath it all, delighted to be in football, delighted to be helping uh, bounce uh, an association um, back into play and trying to find trust, credibility from the outside world. You know, that's that's our, our target now in, in every vertical that comes under the FAI banner, be that what we're here today for with uh, League of Ireland and the launch and SSE Airtricity's, um, you know, support and confidence in that going forward uh, this year, which, which we're, we're, we're happy with, and then right the way through to other stakeholders in the game. So there's lots happening and uh, it's whirlwind stuff in many ways. But the great thing is, I think the game is starting to, to come back the right way. Domestically, obviously, we're here, as you said today, to launch the Domestic League. Mm -hmm. What areas in particular do you think uh, we'd, you'd like to see improvements in in that? And what, what can you say to people involved domestically in the game? Well, well what I can say to people involved domestically is that we uh, took government support and support from UEFA and Bank of Ireland and are obliged now to make the League of Ireland better. That's part of the uh, reform agreement, as you'll see, uh, that, that was signed last week in the Minister's office. We have to help the clubs, A, start good uh, academy structures that can uh, be, be considered best practice and we must also help with infrastructure and the building of better stadia for players uh, to play in and fans to come and watch. So we have a big task ahead of us in the next five years, but we have no choice because if we fail in that task, government will look for their money back and the association will be in big trouble again. So it's not a nice thing to do for us, for League of Ireland. It's actually, uh, it's, it's part of an agreement that we must deliver on this. So that's where we'll be going. We're getting to know the clubs, Gary and myself, a little bit better. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting to understand the, the, the clubs, how they work, the pain points that are there. And uh, we're, we're hopeful that um, over a period of time of assessment that we will, uh, we will have a, a good infrastructure plan to put in place. We've no choice on that. People, some people might think that over the years that the League of Ireland has been neglected. What, what would you say to those people? Well, I've said it in the past. That's exactly how I felt. I didn't understand the inner workings, and I'm beginning to get a better handle on that. But I think the elite game is uh, so important, you know, for the rest of the game to come up and, and, and float with it uh, to, to, to an area where football hasn't been for, for a long time. I mean, I, I did Shamrock Rovers, Milltown, 20,000 people at matches. Uh, I was actually following Thurless Town there one day who beat them. One of my great League of Ireland memories is all my people are from Tipperary. And I can remember walking away from that ground, you know, full of inspiration as a young sort of 12, 13 year old. And we want young 12, 13 year olds in this country to believe that there's something great for them to aspire to. And that's going to take time to put in place and to capture uh, the minds and hearts of the people. But we're, we're charged with doing that. And, and I guess, um, you know, in, in terms of uh, quick wins, if you like, you know, we believe that uh, the announcement the other day favours the League of Ireland to get back into a better place. Uh, that doesn't mean to say that the, the rest of the game can worry because the rest of the game will come with that. There's also strict measures in there to improve grassroots. And women's football, I think women's football really is the one that can, uh, that can start to grow to, to much better heights and grow quite rapidly. So there's a lot in there, but for today, we're here uh, to, to appreciate the League of Ireland, to appreciate our sponsors and, and how they uh, believe in us and to appreciate the players. Because very soon, we'll start a narrative about the players. And I think today is a great uh, you know, starting point on that because uh, I, for one, can't wait for the football to start. I can't wait for uh, the competition to get into play. I can't wait for, for the game in Slovakia. Um, but behind the scenes, there's a lot going on. But remember, we're here for football. In the short to medium term, what in particular uh, do you think that the League of Ireland can, can, can hope for in terms of improvements? Well, there's no instant uh, fix to make everything great. But what we can do is instill confidence in the clubs that we're here to help them, that we're an enabler. The FAI is now an enabler for League of Ireland clubs to go to better heights. It will take time, but they've, they've done quite well in the last period of time. Uh, in, in this crisis, they have uh, come together, they have formed a better constitution among themselves in terms of what they want. And we're here to support and enable them. No longer are we going to block or tell them what to do. And if that means going into a further uh, exploration on an All-Ireland League or, or whatever it is that the, the clubs come up with, we're here to support that and we'll do everything we can uh, as an association to bring that part of the game right up to where it belongs. So that the academies and the underage elite levels can, can, can rise with it and so that the rest of the game in this country can start to feel that it's, it's part of something that's, that's, that's getting bigger from top to bottom. I'm sure you saw the uh, statement from Basketball Ireland yesterday. What, what would you like to say in response to that? 
Uh, this is not a contest. Uh, I'm, I'm a basketball fan. My two nieces played for Ireland. I used to love going to watch them up in Tala. And uh, I hope basketball get as much money as, as the next fella. But, you know, what, what happened at, that, at, at the particular point with basketball, you must remember the country was on its knees. The Troika were in town and uh, government money just wasn't there for them. There's a different landscape now. And, and I believe uh, Basketball Ireland are probably deserving of more funding and I would support them to get more funding. Come and have a chat with us rather than give out about us. Let's do this together. Sport in this country should join up and actually tell government far more loudly of the value, the social and economic return on investment in sport as opposed to quarrelling amongst ourselves. I mean, I'd love to, to meet Bernard and chat about that, how we, how we can all deliver. Uh, and, and then, you know, you know we, can, we can talk about good things then at that point. So, you know, collectively, you know, we'd love to go in to see government and tell government, you know, how they're, they're going to get 30 million in June. You know, that doesn't seem to be on the agenda anywhere. They're guaranteed a minimum of 30 million. If Ireland qualify, if Mick does his magic, that number absolutely uh, mushrooms. And then, of course, you know, the, the, the city of Dublin itself for that period of time, you know, that there's, there's a guarantee of over 100 million coming into the, the coffers there. So, f so football and sport, all sports, have a value. It's about coming together and hitting government hard as a group. And I, I for one, hope basketball do very well in the future, not just because we got uh, a, a hand last week, but because of the value and what they bring, that story needs to be out there. And I, for one, would be supporting anything Basketball Ireland does. But let's do it together. All sports should do it. But can you understand where Basketball Ireland are coming from? Uh, can I understand where Basketball Ireland are coming from? Um, it's not my job to understand where they're coming from. I think what I'd like to say to, to Bernard Warren is come out here. We'll show you how we did it. We'll show you what government are looking at these days. Let's all do it together. Maybe let's start a sports forum where we can all go for more funding because it's certainly not enough for us to do what we want to do. We'll be looking for more. But we're in the advantageous position that, you know, that we're handing 30 million back in June. Uh, for instance, you take rugby, Connacht Rugby, they're, um, you know, they got 20 million there a few weeks ago. They won't have that paid back by June or a big profit on it, which we will do. That's the power of soccer, but we'd like to extend that power into other sports and say, come on, let's all get together here now and put real pressure on government to recognise the value of sport in this country. I think it's taken for granted too much. Uh, lots of problems I know in, in, the, in the real world out there. Uh, you know, I, I, I understand the homeless situation, I understand you know, that the, the government have, have uh, specific duties to do here, but sport needs to stand up and be united. And uh, any other sport who are, who are looking at us saying, you know, well, they got some, I mean, you must remember, we got 2.9 million extra this year and a loan. Okay, and we're handing 30 million back a minimum in June. Like, we're not here boasting about that saying, uh, get lost basketball, well, we're saying you should be doing something similar. Let's all get together and let's try and bring sport to a great place in this country. It, it's, it's in the fabric, it's in our DNA. Uh, let's, let's be united, this is not a contest.